Coca-Cola. 127 years later, three billion servings per day, all because of a closely guarded formula. This is the Nairobi Bottlers Limited, one of the largest Coca-Cola plants in Eastern Central Africa, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The machines never go off. This Sprite production line that we found in operation, for instance, produces up to 28,000 bottles every hour. The process too fast, too blinding. The ingredients of Coca-Cola are mainly water, which is 90% of the Coke drink, sugar, and the closely guarded Coca-Cola formula that only elite Coca-Cola heads know of. This formula is manufactured in different plants across the world and sent to bottling plants just like this one, where instructions are given and meticulously followed. Now this is what we call the syrup room, and this is where we do the final mixing of uh, concentrate. Now what we call concentrate is actually the different parts of the formula. Now we don't know what's in all these different parts, but all we know is, for example, uh, Coke. There's what we have a mixing instruction for Coca-Cola. Now that mixing instruction tells you for so many liters of Coke, you need so much of this part, one, two, three, four, five. And they like it that way. It all begins here. This is a water treatment facility. Up to 100,000 litres of water pass through these tanks every single day. When it's coming to the, to the filters, we dose a bit of chlorine to sterilise the water, to ensure that water is not contaminated. Not from there, we pass the water through these particular filters. So these filters ensure that the water does not have any, any foreign materials that would contaminate it. Then now from there it goes to what we call carbon filters. So carbon filters usually remove this chlorine that we've dosed over here. Since there it served its purpose of sterilizing the water, so we have to remove it. It is an intricate process that takes up to one hour. Carbon dioxide in its pure form is the other ingredient, and this is where it is received once it gets to the plant. Sugar, which is the other main ingredient, is stored here. 30 tons of sugar are received every day. However, this is not the typical sugar you enjoy your tea with, rather industrial refined sugar. The refined sugar goes through filtration process. After the filtration process, we take it and now we make what we call simple syrup, which is a mixture of sugar and uh, water. The next process is at the center of the Coca-Cola making process. This is called the syrup room. Here, the water, sugar, and the concentrate, which is basically the closely guarded Coca-Cola formula, are added and mixed in these tanks. Remember, the carbon dioxide is not added at this point. The mixture of these three key ingredients is agitated for an hour after which it is ready to be dispatched into the filling area. At the filling area, the mixture is blended in this blender with a carbon dioxide which gives you the sparkling fizzy feel. However, it does not end there. The Coca-Cola from the syrup room has to be tested before the filling begins. Here, at the quality control room. If the batch is approved, it's all systems go. Before the feeling begins, you obviously need bottles. So let me divert you just a little bit and bring you to this area. We get the bottles from the market, in this case from uh, various locations. We inspect the bottles and then we take them through a washing cycle. This washer heats as high as 60 to 70 degrees centigrade. Once we do the cleaning of the bottle, we'll now have the bottle inspection process where people will verify that this bottle is clean and it doesn't have any contamination in it. After the thorough cleaning and inspection process, the bottles are ready to be filled. You will need to pay attention to see the filling as it's a super fast process. Inspection is once again done, this time to check, among other things, if the batch and expiry dates are in place. 
Once the bottles are filled, they are put onto a conveyor belt and taken to the casing area where the coke is a finished product ready to be dispatched. And that is what goes on in the Coca-Cola bottling plant. Betty Callow, how things work.